see. Uh, I have a random just, I don't know, just podcast personal question. Is that cool? Sure. What's what's one thing that people have not like when I say criticize, it's like just a joke around. Like what's one thing that people have like kind of joked about you or criticized about you um, that you can see that you're like, okay, you're right. I am that way. You know, like a criticism. Okay. I get, I get you asking. What's one thing basically that people will give me constructive criticism about that they're actually right about? Yes. That you can see where they're like getting that. <laughs> Um, either my stubbornness or the fact that I think too logically that like I don't like put emotions into certain aspects so I can't like see people's point of view because they're thinking more with their emotions as mm-hmm. well I'm thinking more logistically because that's how my brain functions uh, well, so like one, one thing like I've had to like work on is like you know our society has a lot of anxiety and depression and mental health issues and like so sometimes i'm just like you know this looks like a like an easy fix but when i listen to this person i'm like all right like they feel that way because they are emotional and like they sense things with like their emotions so like let me try to like tap into that and like listen and try to understand their point of view instead of being like oh this is dumb this is the easy fix like why are you venting about this you know because like then i come off as not sympathetic, not empathetic, and I come off as like an arrogant butthole. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's good. I I feel like I've had I kind of relate to that situation, and in those situations now, I just like make it an emphasis to just shut up, <laughs> just to like yeah, just listen. And if I say words it's like more meaningful. So like less words, more just being there. Yeah. You know, you you pick and choose what you say because the less that you say, like when you actually speak up, it means more because the person can tell that you're actually listening. You're alert and attentive and like you pay attention to the detail. Yeah. Cause I like to solve situations. Yeah. But some people just don't want help to be solved. They want, they want to. It sounds just, bad, but like, just, you what? Like for me, like I have like a saying, like often like you listen to understand, you don't listen to reply. Yeah. And so like some people, they don't want you to give them advice or feedback. They just want to be able to vent and get stuff off of their chest that they feel like they can't get off their chest. Feel that. Huh. Interesting. Uh, let's see. I would say, I guess for me, I guess there's like two. I guess like the cheap side of me. I get that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I get it. It's more uh, funny to me. <laughs> it's it's the, the biggest. I remember whenever we first started rooming together sophomore year. The reason why I'll tell you this now. The reason why I bought like a whole semester's worth of toilet paper. Is because one time I came back and you had like the little soft, soft, soft toilet paper that I was like, man, this is gonna break whenever I go wipe my butt cheek. I was like, nah, I got, I got, I gotta I get more it. layers. <laughs> nah, nah, that that wasn't oh. cutting. That wasn't cutting. That does not explain anything. I thought you were about to say there wasn't any toilet paper. No, no, it wasn't cut. You was buying the. You was buying. The, it just wasn't your toilet paper. Oh, that's picky. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's picky. No. Um, nah. Shiloh, it's okay, dog. I got toilet paper. I got the bare minimum. <laughs> I got the bare necessity. Um, but and there's there's one I've been kind of working on a little bit. Not working on whatever realizing of my like because i'm like i take things to extremes and so like either i'm like super 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 serious or like super goofy like just you know joking around and stuff and 
don't know. I just need to do like a balance of that. But I don't know. I don't think because like I'm serious when it comes to like academics and stuff. So like when I'm around people, I don't want to be serious. You know, I want to be like the complete opposite. All right. So I don't know. I think for like me, like when I noticed like when we were in school together, it's like you when you put on your like academic hat like you go deep in your bag yeah yeah you go like deep deep so like i'm like okay like he's doing his thing like i respect that so like yeah i can see like where it would maybe be hard for you because like you have been focusing all day like on school and now you're around people like we're at rio's or something so like you kind of like have to like force yourself to let go to get out of that like school bag yeah that's true yeah i just do extremes but i can't be like half doing like oh school and then like half yeah i don't know whatever but 